What's going on everybody? So today I want to just talk a little bit about my explosive progression on this account. We are currently on Void Tower 120. Um, I've been able to auto every single thing here. I have literally not even targeted anything or nothing like that has even happened. I've literally just been rolling through and easily completing all these stages really with no problems whatsoever. Uh, we'll see if I have to actually manual this or, or do something crazy to try to beat this. I don't think I do. I think I can literally just sit here and let these guys uh, clean house. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to over the past literally two days because we have new six stars, we have new stages being completed, and we have further Arbiter progress missions done. Honestly, in probably uh, like a couple days or so, I want to do a full on account review go over the progress i made on the account over the course of time uh especially with my early game process if you guys weren't here for the early game it was insane because i actually earned ultimate death knight in a tournament i didn't actually get him from the login rewards because this account wasn't actually there when ultimate death knight was free okay but ultimate death knight has been an absolute uh game changer guys i'm not quite sure if people just don't know the power of ultimate death knight or they underrate him due to him maybe i guess you could say falling off later on in the game but i single-handedly think ultimate death knight is perhaps the best progression legendary in the entire game um there's a few reasons for why i think this it there's an argument for a couple of other legendaries as well for sure there, he's not like far and above all that all legendaries in the game but i would say that he's definitely in the top uh maybe five top ten or so why He's got all the things that you want in a single character. He's got the A1 Provoke, which actually helps out a ton, especially early on in the game. He's got the decrease AOE, decrease attack, which again, super, super important early on in the game. It's defense-based damage, so he actually deals a decent amount of damage, which again, you need early on in the game. And then he's got the A3, which is a shield and heal, which again, provides you with that needed support. But more so than that, he has the single target damage retargeting. And what I mean by that is if someone comes up and smacks my Aethel early on in the game, she probably will die. However, Ultimate Death Knight prevents that from happening and he absorbs that hit. This is massive, especially for things like Minotaur, for example. When I'm rolling through and those, um, I think it's maybe Arbalesters come in and try to smack you with a big single target hit, those will one-shot your characters oftentimes early on when you're first running Minnow for 15. But Ultimate Death Knight absorbs that, and then since he has high defense, he can actually take quite a few of those hits. This is crucial early on in the game. But not only that, but even if your characters do die, he becomes an absolute solo machine in getting yourself extra 40% speed, HP, defense, and then you can actually just annihilate everything on his own, which I found to be very, very critical in pushing Void Tower, in pushing Dungeon Stages, in pushing Potion keeps i've been able to like literally solo potion 20 keeps with ultimate death knight it's been absolutely amazing there you go there's the doom tower final boss completed absolutely annihilated and now we get to move over to hard uh, and see if we can complete a few stages here but it's been absolutely amazing so far guys void tower 110 or 120 done that's going to be daily login reward we're actually on perfectly day 100 in terms of daily login reward we're technically on day like 99 i would say um in terms of overall progression i would like to do again an account update once i get arbiter once i get arbiter i'm gonna do an account review uh this is a free-to-play account by the way guys i've not spent any money on this account um there has been really no reason to I i've been able to get pi i was able to get pytheon without any money spent i was able to get ultimate death knight literally on day i think it was day three or day four without any money spent which is really really nice but we are approaching Arbiter here, 41 of 60. You can see here, we have to clear the Force and the Void. We've already got the, the Spirit and the Magic 6 level of Ascension done. Um, and then we just have to move over to the Arena Battles and cruise our way through. But you can see here, we have Apothecary, 6 Ascension, Meloga, 6 Start, 6 Ascension. So we're actually cruising along. Next one up is going to be Mist Raider Daifi and Genbo, and I'll be going ahead and maxing those guys out as well. And now I have to run through the Minotaur to make sure all my masteries are complete. As you can see here, in terms of masteries, um, I believe Pythion's done, but Apothecary still has a few masteries left. Um, yeah, still has a few masteries left. I'm actually considering not going for um, Lasting Gifts because I want to reuse them in Clan Boss. Otherwise, I would go for that. Uh, we also have Mist Rider, Dithy, and Melgo who still need to finish off their masteries, as well as Gendo. I'm hoping to run all 
for you or all four of these guys in the same minotaur run so i can them all you know level them up in there but i have a lot of four stars ready to go i'm waiting on fodder honestly i need a lot more shards is the problem uh but that's the other thing guys i mean look at how many shards we have we have six void shards and i actually just summoned we've got a ton of void shards because we actually managed to complete a bunch of quests in the missions as well as void tower just now so we got another void shard we have two sacreds and we have 44 ancients which is absolutely insane to me uh considering the fact that we you know we are completely free to play we're not doing ultra nightmare clan boss but what's more insane to me is i have so much potential here for this account because direct star ronda ultimate death knight if you look at anyone else's any other person's account around 180 days all three of these characters will be in their account this is not new, okay? Rondo is a daily login roller. Ultimate Death is a daily login roller for most people. And Drexler is in the shop. Although I summoned Drexler on day five with that unique pity system that wasn't actually necessarily supposed to be there and Plarium changed it afterwards. We got him early on and, it has, and he's helped so much, especially for my Spider 20 comp, which has, by the way, been absolutely amazing so far. And that's what I've been farming a lot. In terms of Great Hulk, guys, I mean, as you saw from my last video, we're, we're 10 of 10 on magic, 7 of 10 on force, and we're going to keep pushing that. And hopefully, hopefully we have a 2x Ancients coming, because what I would really like to do is, in the next week, get Arbiter done and over with, and then go ahead and summon, and then figure out where we're at. Right, if we pull like an amazing Legendary, if we pull, I don't know, like a Geo, if we pull, um... Who's another epic that might change my account? Like Taragi? If we pull any of that, I can reformat my guilt clan boss comp and then go from there. As of right now, I just have to work with the characters I got. And to be honest, I don't really have an amazing clan boss comp, right? Again, I don't really have that ally protect that I so, 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 so want. And really have an amazing single turret damage dealer, right? Um, the closest I have is like Genbar, maybe even Mist Riot or Dicey. I don't really have an amazing source of healing. Um, I could run Pytheon, but he doesn't really offer anything but healing and reviving. Um, so it, it's really interesting to see that. Well, we're actually able to four key nightmare. I think we get two key ultra nightmare. That's the goal. The goal is two key ultra nightmare, but maybe the goal should be like four key ultra nightmare with these characters. I do have like Frozen Banshee, and I think with like Frozen Banshee, High Katoon, Apothecary, we could run a two to one comp and then add in someone like Stagnite or um, Duck, and then you're going to be able to go ahead and just absolutely annihilate there which will be quite, quite nice. Um, actually, I think Stagnite technically is a little bit better because Duck can apply the decreased accuracy, um, which isn't actually helpful, um, whereas Stagnite cannot apply the decreased speed. Therefore, we have one less debuff on the boss. Um, and then after we have that core comp, the fifth slot might just be Ultimate Death Knight due to his extra tankiness um, and support for the team. Although maybe it's better to run someone like Pytheon. Not quite sure on that one yet, but... We have a lot to do we have a lot to do and i feel like we're just progressing at an insane insane rate um we have to go ahead and refresh some arena battles here uh, and hopefully with this we're going to be able to go ahead and absolutely annihilate the future of our account here in the next couple of weeks i'm so excited i cannot wait guys i'm waiting just because i uh well I, I, I want to go ahead and do it all at the same time. I want to have this like big day of progression where I get Arbiter, I'm pushing 25 Dragon, I'm re-gearing for Nightmare, I'm summoning. It'll be a crazy week, guys, and I'm excited for it. So um, until then, I will try to push, as I said earlier, Ice Golem to 20 and Fire Knight to 20, just because I need to do that for Arbiter. So you might see some videos where I'm beating Ice Golem 20 and Fire Knight 20 in the next couple of days. I think we have an interesting Fire Knight team. Um, we could run like Stag Knight, Drex for the multi hits, right? And then of course, Stag is just great. Armager, Pytheon for maybe the um, the support. And then maybe you run like Apothecary in that squad, uh, just as someone, or maybe you don't even run Pytheon, we run like Ultimate Death Knight plus Apothecary, and we just run that team, which could be interesting. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure it out. Lots of options, but thanks for watching, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow.